Do you have type 1 diabetes? Have you been taking your insulin and following the diet your doctor suggested? What if I told you the diabetes dietary advice that you've been given will only cause you to need more and more insulin and it won't protect you from heart disease? I have a better idea when it comes to a more holistic approach and a healthier diabetes diet. This is Dr. David Dahlman for AskTheHolisticDoctor.com. Type 1 diabetes is usually diagnosed in children and young adults and was previously known as juvenile diabetes. In type 1 diabetes, the body does not produce insulin, a hormone needed to remove glucose, which is a type of sugar, from your bloodstream and move it into your cells where it can be used for energy. This means that any foods that you eat that break down into sugar will remain in your bloodstream where it can cause many health problems. Yes? we are talking about carbohydrates. It's not just the added sugar that we need to worry about, it's all carbohydrates also because they break down into glucose. My definition of a carbohydrate is any food that is not a protein, fat, oil, nut, or butter. More on that in a moment. Since type 1 diabetics, diabetes cannot be controlled by diet alone, in most cases type 1 diabetic patients take insulin. Now, wouldn't it be nice if you could lower the amount of insulin you need and weren't facing the real possibility of increased dosages for, throughout your lifetime because the insulin stops being effective as it once was? The diet recommended by the American Diabetes Association will ensure that path for you and it does not prevent the development of heart disease. But if you ignore the American Diabetes Association's recommendations, your health will be dramatically different and your need for insulin will not necessarily increase. In fact, it may decrease. The improper advice recommended by the American Diabetes Association centers around eating only four to six ounces of animal protein each day and minimal fat intake that includes using low fat or non-fat dairy products. With so few calories coming from meat and fats, that leaves you with only one option. To make up the caloric difference that you need to live each day, the remaining calories will come from, you guessed it, Carbohydrates, and what do carbs do? They break down into sugar. Remember my definition. Anything that is not a protein, fat, oil, nut, or butter, it's a carbohydrate, it contains glucose, and that's a type of sugar. Yes, the American Diabetes Association recommends you eat whole grains and complex starchier carbohydrates, which break down into sugar more slowly, but not necessarily slowly enough to help make a difference with your need for insulin. The key to maintaining healthier blood sugar levels is to reduce, I didn't say eliminate, I said reduce the amount of carbohydrates in your diet. Yes, I'm talking about Dr. Atkins, the Zone Diet, the South Beach Diet, Suzanne Summers, or a basic Mediterranean diet. Because in those countries, blood sugar problems and heart disease are less frequent than in the United States. You don't necessarily need to be as drastic as Dr. Atkins or completely follow the advice of any of these books. Just cut back on your carbs. You don't need a diet plan, recipes, or the exact details about what foods you should eat. It's really this simple. Just cut back on the carbohydrates you're eating and check your blood sugar with a glucose monitor a couple times every day. If you have weight to lose, you'll need to cut back on carbohydrates a little more than someone who doesn't need to lose weight, and only as long as you're trying to lose the weight. It's that simple. If you consistently find your blood sugar levels to be in the range you're looking for, then with the help of your physician, you can try to cut back on your insulin and see if you can continue to control the blood sugar levels. This is how you figure out exactly what dose of insulin you need. The advice the American Diabetes Association suggests about eliminating fats is because there is a misplaced emphasis that fats cause heart disease. They don't. There has never been a study done ever that has proven that a high-fat, low-carb diet causes heart disease. Only a high-fat, high-carb diet causes heart disease. All studies about fats linked to heart disease never took into account the amount of carbohydrates eaten by the participants because who would ever think that apples, whole wheat breads, potatoes, or those cute little Bugs Bunny carrots could in any way be linked to heart disease? Well, if you eat too many of them, they can. So if you follow the American Diabetes Association advice of limited animal protein and low fat, you will eat more carbs and balancing your blood sugar will require higher doses of insulin. Because a high, di high carb diet contributes to heart disease by creating an inflammatory response within the body and arteries, heart disease is on your horizon and then you'll soon be taking medications for heart disease on top of your insulin. And what is your downside risk to following my advice? 
by monitoring your blood sugar and keeping track of your readings as you reduce the amount of carbs that you're eating every day you can determine your own optimal level of carbohydrates based on those readings if your readings are normal but you still want to lose some more weight and you're not cut your carbs even further your blood sugar can be controlled more effectively on a low carb diet controlling type 1 diabetes is within your power so apply all the discipline I'm sure you have in other areas of your life to reduce the amount of carbohydrates you're eating and reduce your risk of heart disease and other conditions related to diabetes. I'm Dr. David Dahlman for AskTheHolisticDoctor.com. To view more videos about holistic approaches to other chronic health conditions and read my opinionated blog about many health topics in the news, please visit AskTheHolisticDoctor.com.